program created by the Rio Grande Oil Company. San Rafael Police calling all cars, attention all cars. Be on the lookout for a gang of housebreakers known to be operating in San Rafael. Further details to follow. enthusiastic users of Rio Grande cracked gasoline. All the police and emergency cars have opened, and the neighboring city of Berkeley used nothing but Rio Grande cracked gasoline. In Southern California, the largest law enforcement body in the West, the Los Angeles Police Department, used nothing but Rio Grande cracked gasoline. In Arizona, the largest county in the state is Maricopa, and every car operated by the county sheriff's office uses Rio Grande Crack gasoline. In fact, wherever calling all cars is heard, more police and emergency cars use Rio Grande Crack than any other brand. And all these thousands of emergency cars use exactly the same gasoline you get from your neighborhood Rio Grande dealer. At the same price you pay for ordinary gasoline, you can enjoy the extra pleasure of police car performance. Now it is our pleasure to present Chief Saban King of San Rafael, California, who will address you from the studios of station KFRC in San Francisco. Chief King. the Southwest. It is with great pleasure and a sense of honor that I have accepted calling all cars invitation to participate in a splendid campaign to educate the public to the fertility of crime. The case you will hear is from my confidential files tonight. It is perhaps not as blood curdling as some which have been broadcasted before, but it is, I feel, an interesting example of the less spectacular duty your police officers are called upon to perform. This gang, about which you will hear, operated in the region of Santa Fe for more than two years. Although their individual crimes were not large, were not headline compelling, they were nonetheless crimes, and the aggregated of their activities compelled us to eradicate them. When I became chief about a year and a half ago, I determined that this bunch of hoodlums must go. How we accomplished this turned out to be rather difficult task. You will now hear it is a brisk November day in 1934. Officer Mike Holloran of the San Rafael Police Force has just returned from his seat when Chief Stephen King summoned him to his office. You wanted to see me, Chief? Oh, yes. Come in, Holloran. Something up? Oh, nothing new, but something we've got to break up. This gang of hoodlums that have been breaking in houses around here. There was another robbery last night. I've been working on that gang for some time now, Chief, and they're a tough bunch to crack. As a matter of fact, I've got a good idea who's behind them, but so far there's no proof. Nothing concrete. Well, it's up to somebody to get through. The citizens and taxpayers are beginning to get sore about it. I've been thinking over an idea that might work, Chief. It's the only way I can see to get them with the evidence. Maybe it'd work if I could have some help. What is it? Well, I've been watching a fellow by the name of Perinini. Sam Perinini. He's a Portuguese. A night watchman. And I've got a hunch that he's the bird that's engineering all these jobs. What makes you think that? Well, in the first place, he knows his way around this town. Been here for some time. And in the second place, he hangs around with a bunch of pretty shady-looking birds. Well, what is this plan you were talking about? Just this. If 
I could have someone to go with me, I could get some old clothes and let my beard grow and try to get in with a gang. In that way, I'd have positive evidence. That's pretty risky business, all right. How do you know they wouldn't recognize you? I don't, but I'm pretty sure I could get away with it for a while. All right. Here's what we'll do. You officially leave town tonight for a business trip, only you don't really leave. Tonight about 10 o'clock, you come over to my house and we'll dope this thing out. You mean you're going to work with me? Exactly. We'll try this plan of yours and see what happens. Got any old clothes? I think I can dig some up. Good. I'll round up some of my own and we'll go to work. From tonight on, Holland, there are two less policemen in San Rafael and two more tramps in the freight yard. Pursuing this ingenious plan, Pete Kane leaves word that both he and Holland will be out of town for a few days. Then that night, he and Holland leave his home, change into old clothes, even apply a touch of makeup to complete their transformation. An hour later, as the 1120 Eureka night train pans into the little San Rafael station, two disreputable hobos swing from the last car and stand talking in the shadow of a side-track freight car. Well, so far, so good. Anybody watching that entrance to town would think we were just a couple of the boys. I feel dirty enough to be a bum. Hope I look like you. Don't worry, you do. As a matter of fact, if I saw you coming down the street and I was in uniform, I'd throw you in jail on the back yard. Well, we can't stand here all night. Let's go over to the taxi stand by the station and see if the drivers recognize us. If we can get by them, we're a cinch. Right, let's go. Wonder if we can bum a cup of coffee. I could stand one after that train ride, even though it was only a few blocks. Hmm, how'd you like to be a real hobo and do this all the time? No, thanks. I'm afraid I couldn't take it. Well, here's the test. There's one of the boys in front of his cab now. He knows me by sight. Come on. What are you going to say to him? Ask him for a flop or something. Watch him. <laughs> say, buddy, uh, where's a guy liable to find a flop house in this town? Me and my friend here just got in. We're dead tired. You're in the wrong town for that, buddy. This place don't run no free hotels for bums yet. Unless maybe you'd like to relax in the trail, huh? No, no, thanks. Maybe we made a mistake stopping here. Come on, Al. Let's drift. Okay. And thanks, buddy. Oh, don't mention it, buddy. <laughs> Must have a good police department here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, he didn't know you. Now what do we do? There's a place around the corner up here where Paranini hangs out. It's a sort of a dive. Maybe we could mosey in there and get an ear for him. I don't think we both ought to go in. I'll go in and you stick around in the near vicinity and see what happens. And if something does happen? Well, just use your own judgment. And it better be good. Okay. Let's part company here, then. I'll meet you up at the next corner in 15 minutes. Right. Good luck. Thanks. Same to you. What do you want? I want to come in. Who sent you? Eddie, down at the pool hall, told me I'd get a drink here. I just got in town today. Uh, all right. Come in. Thanks. It's kind of cold out there. Yeah. Heard you made good hot potties here. Thought I might take a crack at one. I don't like to let strangers in here unless there was somebody I know. I guess it's all right. Come on into the bar. Thanks. Hey, you've got a nice way out here. Yeah. You can order what you want at the bar. Right. What'll it be, buddy? Make it a hot toddy. A hot toddy. Come up. Say, bartender, maybe you can tell me something. Maybe. I just flew in town today, and I was told to look up a fellow here. I think his name is Paranini. What about him? Hmm, nothing about him. I only thought maybe you could tell me if he was here tonight, that's all. I know a mutual friend of his from out of town. Yeah, he's here. Over there at that table. Hey, am I lucky? I wouldn't bother him right now, though. He's talking business, and he don't like to be bothered when he's busy. Is that right? Well, maybe I'd better wait a while, huh? I don't want to get him sore. That's a good idea, buddy. Here's your hot toddy. Well, boy, that looks good to me. 30 cents. Huh? Oh, sure. <laughs> Almost forgot. That's funny. Had some money a minute ago. Hey, what is this? I can't seem to find my dough. Must have lost it somewhere. But I can get some from my friend at the pool hall. Oh, you can get it from your friend at the pool hall, can you? Well, this ain't no free drink establishment. Come on. 
walk over. I haven't got any money with me, I tell you. I'll have to go and get some. Hey, Joe, yeah. come over here and help this fellow out, will you? Yeah. There isn't any trouble. I just found out that I'd lost some money somewhere, that's all. I told this gentleman that I'd get some if he'd let me go downtown for a minute. I don't think you got a damn your name. Help him out, Joe. The back way. Oh, pleasure. Come on, buddy. This way. Uh, hey, wait a minute. There's no reason to get tough about 30 cents. That's walking. It ain't the money. It's the principle of it. Listen, I'll walk out of here, but you're not going to throw me out. Oh, what do you call this? <laughs> Brutally hurled to the pavement, Pete Kane lies unconscious on the sidewalk until a passing pedestrian sees him and turns him a call to the police department. And a few minutes later, two officers arrive in the patrol wagon to pick up the supposed drunk. Here he is, pal. Come on and give me a hand with him. Yeah, looks like a tramp. Probably been drinking canned heat or something. Yeah. All right. Oh, there you go. There you are. He's a heavy one, ain't he? Yeah, yeah. Uh, in the wagon now. Uh, easy. Uh, yeah. Okay, Tom. Have to come back with him. Let's go home. Right. Oh. Hmm. Now take it easy, old boy. You're going to get a nice rest in the jailhouse. Everything's going to be all right. Yeah, well, in the name of all this. Hey, wait a minute. What's going on here? Is he here? Uh, no, he's waking up. That's all. Thank you. 
Get around it before they have a chance to duck into an alley or something. I'm doing the best I can with this crate. Watch it, Harlan. There's something right ahead there. Oh, no, it's too Watch it. Yeah, the pen were drunk. Very drunk. They're coming back and they've got guns. Well, if we get out of this, I'll try to get up and act drunk. Sing or something. Yeah, come on. Watch it, then, too. Yeah. 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 Y
Sorry, but we're not going anywhere. Oh, yes? Did he get you all on? No, miss. I think you're going to head over to the side of the pier and get a shot at them. Getting so foggy, you can't see anything out here. Yeah, I can hear them in the boat out there, but you can't see anything. What do we do now? Stick around and see what happens. Listen, it's a squad car. Yeah. Well, they must have heard that shot. Come on, we don't want the boys to know what's up yet. They might spoil all the work we've done. Think we can make our own car? I think so. Come on. Here we are. Let this keep moving quick. something, running away from our own boys. It'll be funny if they start shooting. We can't stop to explain things now. Get a chance, swing into a gas station and turn off the lights. Maybe we can pick them that way. There's one right up the road here. If I can make it before they spot it. Well, we've got a block on them. Step on it. Should be at the front pretty soon. That's 
them now. Get set to go through this back door as soon as we hear them talking. Yes. Yeah. Somebody at the door, Bill. Do the key. Okay, sir. Get that, Holland. I'm set itching to go. Now, what do you want? Pick up your hands. Go in there. Hey, Dolores, Sam, what's your job? Come on, Holland. It's time to get moving. Well, get up the door, Bill. I let them hurt. I can't. I'm coming. All right, Sam. Hold your gun away and pick up your hands. Huh? Good night for the Rio Grande Oil Company. <laughs> 